Laser Pecker invited me to be in the testing group for the LX2. They sent this to me for free to do testing and to do some reviews on it, show you guys how it works. This first video is just gonna be unboxing of this. First of all, this thing is heavy. It's about 80 pounds and it's pretty wide and it is hard to move by yourself. So if you can get somebody to help you, I would suggest that. Um, just from the carrier alone, one of the handles ripped. I was able to get this upstairs by myself, but it was pretty difficult. Something to note is this is a test unit. I don't know that the hardware is gonna change that much, but I believe they are gonna make significant updates to the software. That's one of the main things they want us to test is the software and provide feedback on that, both features and bugs. So let's get into opening this up. Now there's no way I'm gonna be able to get this out by myself. So what I'm gonna do is cut one of the sides of the box and slide it out. So something to note is there is this nice foam. It's not that styrofoam that breaks apart. And there are these extra thick cardboard pieces that are in like the corners and on this front edge piece to help keep this safe when shipping. These are probably gonna ship directly from Asia. That's where mine came from. So I was able to pull this out, sliding out of the box myself. Uh, there's a nice chunk of foam underneath this as well. So I'm gonna get it off of that and then start unwrapping it. If you compare this thing to the LP4, this thing is ginormous. I mean, look at how tiny the LP4 is in comparison. So on the back side here, I see the exhaust output. I believe this is air assist. And then there's a USB plug for the computer, another USB, I'm guessing that's for a dongle, safety key and a power cable, and then a power switch. On the side here is an emergency stop button, which it's nice that it's big, it's red. There's nothing on the left side. On the front side here, there's a little protector for the logo. Some tape holding this door shut. So this front opens up to give you access. And then the top opens up here. I got a little protector foam for the inside of the door there. Uh, this is the camera. It's got a little protector on that as well. An LED light there. So underneath the lid, camera, LED light, uh, a manual, material pack, got this box here, it's got different tools, hex keys, some screws, a distance sensor, protective windows, USB flash drive, security keys. Power cable. I got the US variant, a USB cable. Power adapter. It's pretty chunky. Got a 40 watt laser head. This would be just a blue diode laser head. Two watt infrared, which is what's on the LP4. These slats that are gonna be used to support work projects. Uh, exhaust tube. Open the door here to get this out. It 
air assist. Air assist unit. Twenty watt laser head. I don't know the reason to have the twenty and the forty, but oh, flexible fixture. I saw somebody else showing this off. So this has like these pins in it, so you can uh, put something small on it that's unlevel and try and level it out. Foam, foam, foam. There's also some LED lights on both sides uh, to help light up your project so you can see. It's metal on the bottom here. So there's a quick unboxing of this. There's multiple laser heads that I have, but I assume based on what configuration you want is going to determine the price that you pay. Please follow me for more videos, setting this up, doing a bunch of tests with this. There's also some accessories that I have that they've given me that I'll be showing off as well.